Thank you for tuning in to NSUSpartans.com as today we preview the 2011 MEAC Outdoor Track and Field Championship which takes place this weekend on the campus of North Carolina A&T State University. Today we're joined by NSU men's track coach Kenneth Giles and uh, coach I know this is an exciting time of, of the year for you as your team gets ready to head into to postseason action and um, we talked earlier in April you said you really thought that your team at that point of the season was running some of the faster times that they had run in previous years for that point of the season. How do you uh, Overall, how do you feel like your team has progressed through this outdoor season heading into this weekend's championship in Greensboro? Well, I think the progression is right where we want it to be at heading to the conference championship. You know, the conference championships is always an exciting time of the year for us. Um, it's, it's a reward for the kids who've worked hard all year to get to this point academically and athletically because if they can't do it academically then they can't help us athletically so you know most of them have done but you know pretty much all of them have done what they need to do you know considering this is finals weekend and we we pretty much you know getting them out of their finals and a lot of professors have worked with us and you know correlating the finals and knowing that you know we have a you know we're, we're traveling um today which is wednesday and you know it's, so it's an exciting time of the year for us and i think we're right where we need to be at heading into the championships now uh, you won your sixth straight MEAC indoor championship in february looking for your sixth straight outdoor championship now and of course that would be your sixth straight MEAC indoor outdoor sweep and your third straight if you were to get it this weekend third straight sweep of all three championships how much do you talk about that to your team? How much, uh, how much of a goal is it for the athletes on your team? Well, you know, Matt, I don't, I don't really say it, say too much about it. I think, I think, I think um, the, the, the 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 previous kids that came through the program, the Brandon Harris, the Keenan. Um, Harris, you know, guys of that nature, the Raymond Browns, the Troy Wilkinsons, they, they, they're the ones that let them know the, 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 the expectations of the program. You know, I don't, I don't really mention it. All we do as a coaching staff is prepare them, you know, for the, for the, for the weekend and, and they go out there and perform. All right. Now, if we look at a couple of uh, individuals on your team and how they've done this season, starting with Sean Holston, your standout sprinter out of uh, Springfield, Virginia. Um, last year, Sean, in his first competitive season at Norfolk State, won the MEAC Indoor Championship in the 200 and 400. Started off outdoor season really fast, but um, had some problems with a few nagging injuries toward the end of uh, outdoor season last year. This year, though, he really seems like he's really gaining steam as we're going through outdoor season, running some of his best times of the year. He's ready, man. He's ready. He, he's ready to go. He'll run fast this weekend. He'll run fast in the 200, the 400, and the 4x1. Um, he, he's ready to go. I can put it like that. And he'll, he'll, he'll put some impressive times out there for the fans. And, you know, just look just look on the NCAA website or look on the Chiefs website and you'll see him move up on the national list. <laughs> yeah. And also looking at the long jump, it's, it's always been a, traditionally a strong event for the Norfolk State men's team going back to athletes like Chris Walker and Marlon Woods. Uh, last year you didn't have quite as much uh, depth in that event, but this year you seem to be right back where you're used to being with athletes like Rashad Cannon and DJ Shelton both jumping really well this season. season I know you're really happy to have those two guys kind of anchoring the jumps for you this year. Yeah, um, you know, that, that's one of our strong points. Um, my emphasis has always been you know, in certain areas you want to be strong in, and the jumps has always been one of our stronger areas since I've been the coach at Norfolk State, and we have two premium jumpers this year, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, they're ranked in the top 25, you know, in the region in the jump. So, um, so that, that's a strong event for us, and we look for um, Cannon and Shelton to do what they've done all year. I'm not going to ask them to do anything special. Just do what you've done all year, and we, and we should take one, two in the, in the long jump. Now, uh, obviously winning your sixth straight outdoor championship this weekend is goal number one, but what are some of the other goals that you and the coaching staff have for this team as you get ready to transition after that to the regional competition later in May? Well, what we want to do is, is, is get out of the conference championships unscathed with injuries. That's, that, that, that's one of our major concerns um, because, you know, this team, this team was really built for the NCAA regional championships and for the NCAA nationals. Um, not that we take the conference championship for granted, but if we do what we have to do at the regionals and the national level, the conference championship will come, you know, will come right in our hands. So um, we just want to get out of this championship, you know, without any injuries and then prepare ourselves for Indianapolis the last weekend in May. All right, Coach, well, we wish you good luck this weekend as the Spartans, as we mentioned, shooting for their sixth straight MEAC indoor-outdoor sweep. The championship will be held on the campus of North Carolina A&T this Thursday through Saturday. For more information, be sure to visit, visit www.meacsports.com as well as visit nsuspartans.com for all your information on Spartan Athletics.